of chronic pain. Qualified in the cast lab. Aftab Hussein, King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, Saudi Arabia. Hello everyone. I will be talking about something that we have all experienced in our lives, pain. In particular, chronic pain has become a pandemic because of our sedentary lifestyles. Chronic pain is one of the most common medical problems affecting eight out of 10 individuals in their lives. That's over five billion individuals in the world. Now, of all the home remedies that are known to us for chronic pain, heat therapy is one. It is fairly commonly used as well. Heat is well known to increase blood circulation to the affected area and reduce the tension in the muscles to relieve pain. So how do we apply heat to the affected area? We use heat patches. Hundreds of them are available in the market today to choose from. However, they are non-reusable. You need a different heat patch for a different part of the body. They are based on chemicals. That's why they are hazardous. They are unfit for children because of the same reason. And they're expensive. Even the reusable electronic thermal patches are again specific to a particular body part. They are bulky and they're expensive. So what if I told you I have a safe thermal patch for all occasions? What if we could stretch it up to three times its original size? What if it was flexible and conformal to all body parts? You could wrap it around your fingers and elbows. What if it was reusable over and over again? What if it could be run using a coin battery and what if we could wirelessly control it using our smartphones? Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present a smart stretchable thermal patch that we have developed in our lab. We use specially designed patent pending metal polymer interconnects to make this device. The device basically runs on joule heating, wherein we apply an electric current through a copper coil to heat it up. This is very similar to the way an electric stove works, only in this case, the width of the coil is half the width of the human hair. We've also developed built-in temperature sensors so that we can measure the temperature in real time for real-time temperature control using Bluetooth. And since we use silicon substrates to make this device, we can seamlessly integrate it with state-of-the-art electronics. Further, this device can be used for diverse applications like targeted delivery of heat to kill malignant cancer cells. Oh, by the way, did I mention it just costs $3 to make this device? That's right, $3 to make this device. How much we will sell it for is a different question. <laughs> and that's how we break the wall of chronic pain. Thank you. Early next year? Or late next year, so let's say. Yeah, but it, it, it works on electrical engineer, electrical uh, generation of heat, not chemical generation of heat. That's what I meant. Very, very quick one now, Alex. So what is your contribution to this project? I made it with my own hands. I had tested it on my own hands, and I burnt my hands during testing. So pretty much everything. <laughs> very good. Thank you. Thanks.